you know, uh, deals out it, it, against the other team at midfield. What what happened there? To me, they just wanted attention. Honestly, they just want to go viral, really. So that's all that really happened. Tyler. Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Shador, as you guys are heading out there um, for the last drive in regulation, knowing you have to go 98 yards, what's the message to the team in the huddle as we, you know, which is, with just two minutes left as you guys are going to tie the game? Well, we do it in practice all the time, so it's not really a shocking or a surprise to it. It's just like, okay, we like those high-pressure moments. Like, that's, that's what we live in, and that's, I wish the whole game was just straight that. Honestly, that's when I say we excel. But really, like, in my own mind, I was thinking Brady mode, like, he does it all the time. I got to be able to do it. Just talking to him, just, you know, and really just representing him in that way. Hey, Shador McMiller, Fox 31. You talk about Tom Brady and all the work that you put in with him, and also coaches talked about you, this isn't the first time you've had a moment like this. Mm -hmm. It's just a bigger stage that now people can see it. What have you learned from Brady, and where does this rank in terms of moments that you've had in these kind of pressurized moments? Well, I say it's a lot of pressurized moments, but I remember the, the biggest moment I remember was uh, two moments. When my dad was um, he was going through the thing, going through the thing with his foot. My freshman year, we do a game winning touchdown versus Southern at Southern, and um, the Swag Champion, not the Swag Championship, the uh, Celebration Bowl last year. So it was just like I already, I already knew what what was required. I already been there before. So it's like I'm not I'm not gonna be able to live with myself honestly like on a loss like that like I don't know I wouldn't be able to sleep so I just didn't want to go through that. Hey guys, um, Nick Edwards here, Sports Report for Shador. When you saw Travis go down, this was a very chippy game. You guys were fighting with each other back and forth, and you saw Travis go down. Did you did you guys feel? Go ahead. Oh yeah, Shadow come in. Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> Um, did you guys feel extra emphasis to win this game for him and just ultimately come out with a win? Hold on, hold on. How's everybody doing? <laughs> we got to give a round of applause for the pick six, man. <laughs> Club <Clubs> Big Brothers. <laughs> for the pick six, man. He tried to do dad's dance, but he thought he was going to get caught. I know. I was, I was going to extend that pick. I was just going to like go to the side like Madden, but I was like, ah, oh, this guy's mad and he's going to pretty fast. Can <laughs> y'all hear me on the mic? Yeah. Yeah, that was close though. But at the end of the day, it's entertainment, and uh, <laughs> hey, them ticket prices was worth it today. So <laughs> me, me and Shador just playing before we was like, let's make it close today for the fans. Nah, I ain't <laughs> say that. I ain't say that. Nah, he he capping now. You know, we went. It's a script, you know. <laughs> nah, but when Travis went down, like it made me it made me feel some type of way, honestly, because like you took like one of my brothers, you know, on the offensive side, so. It, it really hurt me a lot knowing, you know, the um, work he put in and everything just leading up to the game and knowing, like, you could always count on him in those moments. So now we have Mikey step up today because I'm proud of him uh, for just getting in the windows and understanding. So his number was called and he was ready to execute. Yeah, the bad thing about losing Travis, man, you you lose such a crucial piece of our team. He's on offense and defense, so it's like you're losing two players in one. So that was uh, pretty rough, you know. Shiloh, on your interception, uh, were you about to high step? Were you trying to high step at one point? I was going to high step at Foden, just like <laughs> Coach Prime did, because, you know, I got a Coach Prime cleats on. So I was really thinking about it, but I was like, ah, oh, this isn't the NFL. So I, I can't do that or I'm going to get a flag. So I was just like, let me just hurry up and just score, get the J6. <laughs> and he was and then, running fast and uh -huh. mad. <laughs> and then a follow-up question for you. After that, their quarterback kind of settled in, and they started hitting a lot of those crossing routes all night. What what kind of was working for them that you guys were struggling with tonight? Um, I'm not sure exactly what it was, but we'll see in film. But Coach Kelly put us in great positions. He, get, he gives us good calls. We just have to execute at the end of the day.